All right, so I just want to hop into the charts right now. I want to show that this level that I was talking about, exactly what I predicted actually played out. So remember I was talking about this trend line that we haven't been able to break for over 300 days. Well, it looks like Bitcoin has started its ascent into this trend line zone, and it is currently breaking above the trend line actually, but it's having a hard time breaking above. And people are saying that it's possible that the altcoins may have altcoin season and they could pump before Bitcoin, as we saw in the 2020-21 cycles over here. Remember, Ethereum actually started to pump before Bitcoin, and then we got the Bitcoin double top. So it's possible that that's happening, although you could argue that Ethereum simply pumping just because of buy the, buy the rumor, sell the news pump for this hard fork merge update. So that could be another scenario of what's going on here. Now, the reason I want to show this is because I entered a trade right here when I said, remember, Ethereum would have a hard time breaking above this line. I entered a trade at around 1800 right here. As you can see, I entered this trade because I knew that that would be the area that Ethereum would have a hard time breaking above and possibly get rejected. And so I'm looking to take profits on this trade possibly at around... Fourteen hundred, fifteen hundred dollars when Ethereum gets a bounce off this support box. I'm not going to close the trade yet, but it is interesting to see because Bitcoin has actually already started to break above. But remember, I don't think we should get too excited just yet. Bitcoin is not in the clear, in my opinion, until we can break above this key level, which is around thirty thousand, twenty-nine thousand dollars. Now, the reason I think that is because this is an important level in the market. You can see how many times it acted as support. And then it flipped into resistance and it's a key area of interest for traders so a lot of buying and selling going on at the thirty thousand dollar mark so i wouldn't get excited just yet i mean we see people flipping bullish so quickly in this market it's insane to see i mean look at this chart on the macro we have a long way to go this is just the daily but or the weekly but i mean we still have a long ways to go definitely before we can start to think that bitcoin is going to head to new all-time highs i mean this is nothing right here. This could just be another simple bear market rally and then we collapse down further to around $12,000. You know what's interesting is if you take a look at the fear and greed index, this is a good way to gauge market sentiment, see how people are feeling. Just yesterday we were in extreme fear. And look at this. Today we've risen up to just, you know, somewhat fearful, but it looks like this this uh, gauge is moving quite quickly. It's always interesting to see. I mean, it is good that Bitcoin has reclaimed this $1 trillion market cap. So that's good to see the global crypto market cap has risen above that level again. We have Bitcoin hovering at around 22. It just pumped. We have Bitcoin stuck at around 1700. And yeah, I mean, Binance still a Binance hasn't been moving the way I thought it would. I thought it would be, you know, in lockstep with Ethereum, but that's obviously not been the case. So what are the most likely scenarios to happen next? I can give you. A general idea of what could happen what probably will happen and what people think is about to happen so best case scenario break above this come up here maybe get rejected come back down and retest the support trend line and then head back up to new highs this is assuming the federal banks and all, all the problems with inflation and Europe and and interest rates this is assuming all of this gets settled and hopefully they stop hiking interest rates soon so that's the best case scenario. Now, what's more likely, unfortunately, to happen is probably we may get a little break above this. I mean, just to show you maybe something like this. But then ultimately, we come back down here. We bounce again, get rejected. And then we're heading back down to around twelve to $10,000 levels. So that's it for now. Just wanted to give a quick update of what's going on. Still keeping my eye on Ethereum because I am in this trade that I entered around 1800 1790 so I'm looking to see a retracement, a little correction here for Ethereum. But that's all for now.